Orochi is one of the world's great draftsmen. He drew obsessively. Bellori, his biographer, tells us that he was always around town with sketchbook in hand. And if he saw a face or an expression even on a face that particularly inspired him, he'd immediately get out his notebook and start sketching. And then if he was really interested, he'd invite his model back home um, to pose so that he could go into even more detail. There was a great kindliness in the way that he looked at the world. Even when he had a model in front of him, he would ask the model to assume a pose that was first of all served his purpose, the narrative, but then he would check with the model whether the pose was comfortable so that it could be more natural. Always he was in search of the natural. It's extraordinary, for example, how many drawings there are of hands, feet, heads, um, even fingers. Barocci would experiment endlessly with the poses. He would start from one pose, flip it around, and then zoom in to a detail, then further in. Um, nothing was left to chance. We learn so much about his pictures from his drawings. By looking at them, we can reconstruct step by step exactly his, all his thought processes and technical processes of how he put together a composition. He was, it has to be said, a great perfectionist. He spent most of his time on the preparatory process. Um, then apparently he painted very, very quickly, using his fingers all the time, smudging here and there and um, bringing everything into this wonderful tonality and harmony, composing his tunes. <laughs>